Well, even though state legislators passed a bill earlier this year prohibiting mask mandates, many metro area schools are implementing requirements of their own. It's all because of an Oklahoma County judge issuing a limited temporary injunction of that law. News Force Thomas Fleming spoke with the Oklahoma Education Association about a timeline for a final court decision and what schools can do in the meantime. Thomas. Yes, this all started when the Oklahoma State Medical Association and a group of parents filed a lawsuit against that bill. Senate Bill 658, and the president of the OEA says they're now doing everything to educate schools as we do wait for it to be taken up in court. OEA President Catherine Bishop says they're reminding schools that they can implement a mask requirement if it has an opt out, and that requirement can also apply for any visitors and staff. What the temporary injunction was was specifically on the piece of the law that had to do with the mask mandate. So it included the law said. You, ha you could not have a mandate for, for students, school personnel, or visitors. So absolutely they can. But their exemption options are slightly different than students. So for school personnel and visitors, because that written or order was silent, then you go to the federal exemption, which are medical and religious. The bill also prevents school boards from requiring vaccinations. Bishop says that part of the law will also be explored in court. When the judge takes up the full merits of the case, then they'll look at that piece as well. Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor has since appealed that injunction, arguing the law is constitutional. And the Associated Press reports the state Supreme Court will expedite that appeal, giving O'Connor 20 days to file briefs in the case and opponents 20 days to respond. Bishop says the OEA has already taken action in anticipation of that ruling. Our OEA Board of Directors passed a resolution and plan of action to support the Oklahoma State Medical Association in their, their lawsuit. And whatever happens, they'll have numerous ways of getting information on any changes out to the public. Community um, town halls, however, whatever way it's safe to do that, so that we can help answer questions, get information out. Since that injunction, districts including Edmond, Yukon, Middell, and Putnam City have all implemented mask mandates. Muskogee most recently passed a requirement just this past Wednesday.